Hello, this is a sample recording made using the Plantronics Gamecom 780 surround sound PC gaming headset and I'm also going to take a quick look at the uh, the options available in Windows 8 for this particular headset. So I plugged in the USB connector to my laptop and Windows 8 has detected the headset uh, as a recording device and as a playback device. So let's just right click on the speaker icon and uh, select recording devices and you can see that uh, it's appearing here as a Plantronic USB headset microphone. In the playback devices I've got uh, a Plantronics Gamecom 780 speakers device as well. Now I've not installed any drivers here, Windows 8 has just provided these. I have installed the drivers on Windows 7 and the only change is that uh, you're given a surround sound capability for the stereo headset so it's a virtual surround sound effect that you get through the software drivers doesn't make any difference to the recording device and uh, so let's have a look and see what we get for the recording device in properties in the general tab you can see general information about the uh, the headset on the listen tab I've got the option to listen to the device during recordings which I don't want to do in the levels tab I've uh, turned up the microphone level to 100 for this recording and in the advanced tab you can see that I have got uh, the device detected as a two-channel input device, now it's a, a mono microphone. All of the options are 16-bit sample depth and I've got sample rates up to 48 kilohertz for the recording. So I'm going to leave that at uh, 44 kilohertz and say OK. And uh, the Plantronics headset is going to now be used to make a recording in Audacity. So in Audacity I'm just going to choose uh, 44 kilohertz as my project sample rate and make sure that I have my Plantronics USB headset microphone selected as my microphone device and you can see that the record level is set um, up high. In Audacity you can uh, monitor the recording levels and I think I'm ready to go so testing one two three four and you can see that the uh, stereo recording has been made and I've got quite a large DC offset so let's just expand that to fill the screen here and that uh, big DC offset uh, I haven't corrected it in the recording I'm making here and I guess Skype would uh, just make that disappear as well if you were using the, the headset uh, to talk to people but I just thought it was something that you should be aware of if you're making recordings and editing them together uh, that could cause a big click uh, each time you start a new recording sample. So in Audacity for example you can remove that by using the normalize effect and you can just come to normalize and uh, choose to remove any DC offsets to make sure that box is selected and say OK and you can see straight away that uh, the waveforms are now centered around zero and that will help avoid any clicks if you make recordings and um, edit them together. So I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching.